What's up everyone, my name is Alex, I'm one of the co-founders of MyInvestingClub.com and I wanna let you guys know about something special we're doing for our viewers on YouTube. So the most common question we get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did is we created a free two hour mentorship course for the brand new trader. It's gonna be available at MyInvestingClub.co. The link is gonna be right here. This is a free webinar that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they start. I also wanna let you guys know about something that's very unique to MIC. So if you have any questions about trading or you're curious about trading or you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you, now you can text our head mentor, Tosh, whose number is gonna be right here, and he'll answer all the questions that you have in less than 24 hours. Thank you and enjoy the video. Good morning, guys. Uh, it's uh, Tom Dizzo here. Um, I hope you guys had a great uh, trading week this week. And uh, today I'm gonna go over one of the, I think it's it's the most important topic uh, aside from uh, risk management. And uh, this topic is uh, about sizing. I mean, this topic is really what's gonna define uh, whether or not you can make it in this game or not uh, you know aside from risk management risk management is really about you know how you setting stops and you know to protect your account right uh, and that's pretty important that's you know basically the most important uh, part and then sizing because risk management it's just not about how you handle the losses but how you can be able to take advantage when when they when it comes right and uh that's what uh gonna grow your account basically and if you don't have money in the long term i mean uh, it's it's really no point for you to stay in this game so so sizing it i mean sizing is really an art and and i like to bring out you know alex blog here and I mean, this is, I mean, to me, it's pretty huge. Uh, if you guys have time and just go over that and, you know, um, a lot of good stuff, uh, you know, on here and uh, you can, you know, read it yourself. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm just going to quickly go over some of the key points here. And uh, a lot of us uh, see on Twitter and, you know, people posting massive gains regularly size up due to FOMO and everything. And, uh, you know, because... You know that is i mean you have to you you can't skip the organic uh, aging process uh, he has alex says uh, every trader ages that their own way their own speed you know not everyone else and you know some may take you know um, um, like some might took one two three five years eight years or even a decade i don't know you know but some like Faye took her like three months so it's it really depends on your personality and how much work you put into that and you know how well you can uh, process the data and or how how fast you can process all the in, in, informations uh, you know that's uh, from mic and you know and everyone is different right and you know sizing up here is really no small thing whoever you are whatever comfort level I mean, it's it's really different from person to person, right? And <clears throat> it's here sizing relative, not general. One case yes to you might be pocket change to him, right? And you know, this is the key point here. You know, some some traders they they try to push size, but they don't look at their account and they don't do it, you know, systematically. And that's what's causing them, you know, to kind of blow up or like, uh, you know, lose chunk chunk of uh, of, of money uh, in one single trade. So yeah, so you first start out, you know, mm, this is all uh, everything here, and uh, I I like this the most. Sizing is the art form itself, and you know, it's not like normal trading. Like the beginning of your career, do several factors, uh, you know, there is science to it, and along with finance, yeah. So. You know, t I mean, you know, uh, put it out somewhere uh, in this. If you want to take a note, uh, you can go to his blog and, you know, this quote is probably the best. <coughs> Size into the best and sculpt the rest. It's pretty famous one <laughs> uh, in our trading community. Um, so, yeah, um, you know, sizing, it's it's not easy. And to be honest, uh, this is what I'm being... <coughs> struggling daily and i think everyone uh, goes through that and i got so many questions from the members uh regarding you know about sizing you know tom how come i always have the most size uh when i'm down 
but when I win, I have really, you know, tiny. And, you know, that's, uh, that's basically uh, what we do in like what I did in, in the beginning, right? Whenever I lose, I usually have my max size. First, right, you need to find an edge. If you want to size up on something, you need to know what you're going to trade, right? I mean, you need to have an edge. It's like when you open a business, you need to have some sort of product to sell. And then when you saw the product has been working, you know, customer buying it, you know, and then you can, you know, buy more and, you know, save in your warehouse or whatever. So that's pretty much the same thing here, edge. And for edge, you know, you need an outcome. It's like this is a probabilities game, right? It's not based on one setup, one trade. It needs to combine all the data in several months or like even year and that's basically what is going to define if it that's your edge or not i mean if you can do that uh, consistently if if you found an edge right you making money consistently i don't know ten dollars twenty dollars or thirty dollars let's say for five months for five months or a year already right and as the day comes you saw the same pattern repeating over and over again yes you could size up but you know you have to do it naturally it's like uh in this month you're trading 100 shares right next month you see the same setup all right you know i've been seeing this for quite a while now for a month now let me try to bring it on to 200 shares and then next month 300 shares right and as your account grows i think this is the best way when you have, I don't know, when you have $5,000, you know, in your bank account, and you know, it might differ, um, it, it might be differently for someone is under PDT. And th in this example, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna say, you know, assume that you're not under PDT, right? And uh, you have only $5,000. And so the best, uh, you know, percentage, in my opinion, it's around one or 2% per trade so let's say in this case and you know two percent that's your hundred bucks that's your hundred bucks right and let me bring on here the chart let's assume that your edge is uh trading the first resistance right you saw two line let's see if he is on the daily as well let's assume you know two line is on on the daily yeah or like 220 something here and that's your edge right so your plan is to shorting into this and stop out i don't know maybe 210 so you want you want your entry to be as close as possible to that 210 right so it could be i don't know 199 201 203 but let's say i, I just want to short here at 201 and stop it you no know, 211 so that's 10 cents right 10 cents based on your account uh that you can risk you know money wise is uh you know 100 bucks right so 10 cents that would uh, equal to 1000 shares that's what you should be risking max per your trade right but if you want to scale you want to scale here 1.9 so you have to divide it like two bullets here as well you know you have to divide like 500 for 1.9 and uh 500 for two right so in this case your average would be 295 and then you have to think uh you know so my max risk per this trade is 100 bucks right and my average is 195 so my technically i cannot risk until 2 to uh, 11 right so i have to risk like 205 here so you know just do the math uh, around that and do it systematically so that way you don't have any surprises when the trade comes and one of the thing here you can do is you know on oco orders and 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 and, and um or limit orders uh adding uh like that uh, it's it's really up to you but i'm just showing you the example here and how you can calculate that uh you know sizing based on your account of course this is the proper way how to do it it's like I think you shouldn't risk more than two percent, to be honest. And for like max, max uh, per day sh sh shouldn't you know cross that five percent. So uh, you know two percent here. So maybe like uh, in, if your account is uh, five thousand, you shouldn't be risking. Uh, like your max loss should be 
two uh, two hundred and fifty bucks. I think that's pretty much it, and you shouldn't uh, risk more than that per day. And if that max loss hit, and you, I think you should probably you know just uh, simply work away and and don't don't try to to you know make it back. And that's that's not uh, uh, the optimal uh, way how how to to deal with that uh, loss. So and. And I, as I, I said before, uh, too, um, you know, you have to kind of learn to be comfortable with taking small losses, because if you're not, you try to revenge it, you try to fight it. You know, this 250 could end up, you know, in being like 2,500, and and that's you know 50% of your account in one day. So, and it's pretty hard for you to come back after that mentally. All right, guys. So, um, if you still have any questions, uh, just DM me. Have a great weekend. See you on, on the next one. Take care. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.